Good afternoon, everybody. Good All right. How you doing? I don't really want to start and ask you about the putter much, but can you talk about Anger a little bit, just uh, what, what level he's playing for you right now and how he's doing? Yeah, Anger's doing a great job. I think these last two games especially, he's really locked in on the open field punting. And, you know, two games ago, we called it alley-oop balls. You know, he's got to throw the hang time distance and direction out there to the gunners. And we try to match that. So right when the returner catches it, we got one of the gunners right up in the returner's face. And so we kind of started with that philosophy. And um, there's a few things we got to work on with him, you know, our going in balls, which is the rugby kicks we got some work on. So um, to see him kind of get into a groove is great. Hopefully he can stay in it. But there's a couple of things that we identify that you know, he needs to improve on. And we'll work on it this week. It'll be fun. Is it more like you want to be inside the 10, not at the 10? Like, is that kind of what it is? Or just the, the mechanics of the kick itself? Yeah, it's, it's the direction, the distance of it and the direction of it. You know, we hit two this past game where um, it was a little bit off directionally. And I think we could, you know, back them up three or four more yards on their drive start. I know it's little things, you know, three or four yards, what is that? Well, it's almost half a first down. So just little things like that. You know, how can we move them back a couple more yards or get it more outside the numbers than in the alley? So little things, little things that pros can, they can do. Is that what you're constantly looking for, just the percentages? Because like you say, you, you know, two to three yards a punt with four a game makes a, a difference in the field. Position. Yeah, that's one first down. Yeah, two to three yards a punt, four times a game is a first down. So, yeah, it's special teams, that's our the little things. We talked about that in our meeting. You know, we didn't have a ton of action this past game. But when you look at the coach's film of it, there's actually a ton of little things that we can tighten up and do a little bit better to make, you know, or back them up three or four more yards. Or you know, if we get a chance to return some footballs, get our, give our offense three or four more yards. And those are little things. But... You know, with our kicker's leg, three or four more yards might mean the difference between having to punt it and giving a shot at a field goal. Um, so, yeah, we're looking for any little edges we can get. Is it good to get back to a quote unquote normal week after what you guys have been doing for the last four weeks of the season? I don't know. <laughs> I'll tell you at the end of this week, I, I've kind of enjoyed the, the 12 day week, the 10 day week, the 8 day week, the 6 day week. Now we're on a 7, so we'll see how that goes. But, um, I've, I've enjoyed kind of the extra days, the short weeks, and then the normal week is, you know, we're used to it last season, but we haven't had it this year. So um, this is kind of uncommon ground for us, seven day week. What did Malik Turner give you yesterday, and what does he provide for you when he's active? Yeah, good call. Malik was active for the first time yesterday, and he gives just kind of a, a gritty, grimy, tough wide receiver, special teams guy. You know, his blocking is outstanding, um, he's tough. He's kind of that prototype special teams player from a wide receiver position, really kind of like Noah is, just to get in there inside and you know put his hands on linebackers and running backs. And there isn't any really matchup that's too um, much of a disadvantage for him. So he's a, he's a good mindset guy to have on the field and also a versatile player that can do a lot of things for us. When you're organizing the turnover takeaway circuit in practice regularly, do you make any tweaks to keep it fresh or any sort of way and empathize for certain things with the opponent, or is it just important to be uniform throughout the season? Yeah, good call. So every Wednesday and Thursday, we have a six-minute team fundamental period, and Coach has me come up with three drills per day, and we go two minutes per station. And it's, it's different every, every day. Um, we look at what's kind of been a trend around the league when it comes to ball security or ball takeaways, or what's uh, something that we need to work on ball security or takeaway wise. And we just come up with three drills on Wednesday and three drills on Thursday and incorporate that into our ball security, ball takeaway, team fundamental six minute period. And it usually has to do with what happened the previous week around the league or for us that you know we'll, we'll work on. Hey, this is what th these couple of teams and these players did a great job of to see if we can do that and get the ball out. You know, this week we'll tighten up some ball security things, and um, it's it's fun to put that together for those six minutes on Wednesday and Thursday. Yeah, I haven't told him too much. We we, we do a lot of security and takeaway drills. Um, probably once every two days, we'll do some kind of ball out of the sky drill, but most of it's ball security, ball takeaway. But um, yeah, I have I, I have nothing to do with his ability to catch the football like he's been. He's on a tear. It's been just a lot of fun to watch. Because 
you're, you have that role with ball security when Dalton has a drive like he had yesterday with the three loose ball carriages. How much are you studying that film to do something about it in practice? And did it seem like the same issues or something different? Yeah, it's a good call. So I didn't talk to him during the game. I, you know, he's so conscientious that he really, he really knew he just, you know, got to tighten it up. But when you look at the, the TV copies, which I do a lot of, you know, you could really get the broadcast shot where it zooms in on it. And so, you know, myself and the offensive staff and his position coach will talk to him, but I'll also get a chance to talk to him on, um, you know, how to, what to do with that second hand cover when you're in a population tackle mode. Um, when you're spinning or going to the ground, how do you cover it with one hand as you brace for impact with the second? So all those things we talk about on Wednesdays, Thursdays and our team fundamental periods. And the guys have been so receptive to it. It's great and hopefully it helps us the rest of the season. But um, We've gotten some, myself, some really good education from watching some around the league tape. And then we're trying to educate the guys on some new ball security tactics, some new ball extraction tactics. Um, so it's a lot of fun to kind of hopefully be on the cutting edge of helping our guys out. And um, he really is so conscientious of it um, that it'll be a fun discussion with him just on a couple of things just to tighten up. When a guy has a few of those like that instead of just one in a game, does it feel more fluky or does it feel more like maybe the Panthers saw something on film they were trying to take? Yeah, um, I think maybe it just you almost become too conscious of it. And Schultz, he's been such a, a great tackle breaker that maybe he got into a little bit more of, you know, I got to, you know, brace for population tacklers and not think about still, you know, being an aggressive runner. Um, it's always, it's interesting. <laughs> Every guy's a little bit different with the, the mental part of it, too. You don't want to get in their head too much where they're so worried about it that, they forget to be runners and tackle breakers, but it's also part of the game to make sure that hold on to our lifeline. When you play against a team that's head coach has a special teams background like this week, do you kind of expect just about anything uh, that, from them and what they can possibly do, or are they more uniform in how they are because of their background? Yeah, no, with the head coach's background as a special teams coach, they, they got a little bit more. Um, and you could dive back into even some of the New England stuff. So they, they got some really good personnel on their special teams, you know, in the, the core part of it. And then we played them twice last year, you know, and they have, they have some good stuff. And um, we do too. So it'll be a, a great contest, I think, of some, some special teams, probably just uh, fundamental, you know, basic stuff, just so you can collide and combat, tackle and block better. All right. Thanks. Thanks. All right. Thanks, you guys.